Hey, what's going on you guys? This is Hyperion Blue GT. So we got two new time trials on Gran Turismo Sports. So we have a group one is going super lap on Autopolis International Racing Course and the Porsche 911 Carrera RS Club Sport Model 993 is going to take the tuning permitted to be at Fuji International Speedway. Now let's go and take the International Racing Course to take the group one time trial to go faster to take some corner skills to be well performed. Now it's time to get ready to use the Toyota TSO50 Hybrid 2016 with the InSport Tech Library variant. But this is going to be taking some power and weight will give a good balance to be on the hundreds. Tire regulations will be going in by racing hard compound tires but this looks good to go. So before enjoying watching the video please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out some more videos if you like. Feel free to enjoy it anytime you want for the entertainment. Now let's go and get ready to take the time trial and let's begin. Sorry I was very late for having a moment folks, but this wheel might have a time until the ranking closes in 2 hours and 28 minutes. But I still got enough time to do the fastest lap whenever I can, but no need to rush viewers. This is going to be doing a lot of quick way to keep it up. Just going to have to keep it well reminded. But good thing that all of you guys have finally got the most fastest lap to be well achieved to keep it up for each specific type of the group 1 prototype race car to be well chosen. Just going to have to go with the group C, LMP1, or Vision GT Group 1 race cars is definitely might be given the best ways to get settled in to take for only a single lap. But now I'm gonna have to take two laps around the track. Just gonna need to do for a little bit regular run and super fast run is gonna be quite taking some few turns to be going in. Now, as you may notice that you have already know about the corners by using the Group 1 category. Just gonna have to take one good correction turns to be going in onto the apex. Just gonna have to do the right direction. Because this wheel might take the good perfection to do a single clean hot lap. Just gonna have to hit that turn by pu putting the brakes. It's gonna be getting in to take one steep downhill to be approaching in onto the next turn to be on the right. That was definitely might be taking some basic handling work. Just gonna have to keep in mind. Now it's gonna be getting in to take a little bit steeper uphill to keep holding in on to the throttle to be well maintain the pace. Now going in onto the final turn, it's gonna be very hard to perform the inside. It's gonna be given the best ways to keep it well improved. Now, it's gonna be quite good for a minute and 35.813 seconds. So let's go and take the fastest hot lap that this wheel might take the good limits to be performed. Just gonna need that gap distance to be increased from behind. Just gonna have the falling up onto the curves onto the apex is gonna be given the best suitable choice. That should do it. Just gonna have to reach up if I could probably take for only one second behind. That's better. Looks like still take on for only 0.7 seconds. Just gonna need to step up because I just only got 0.6 seconds. That should do it. This will might give it in. Almost there folks, this is definitely might be taking a little bit more steeper hill onto the turns. It's going to be keep it in for having a good mileage range. That should do it. Almost had the moment for only one second behind. Taking one more stretch and this is going to be quite doing good. 
Now that is going to be taking the most fastest rush for taking the good limit to beat the time limit. It is going to be on the range for a minute and 35 seconds. Now this is going to be given the best time for only a minute and 34.577 seconds. That was going to be quite very impressive by using the LMP1 race car. It is going to be quite very good to take the all wheel drive. Now this is going to be quite good to take some small earnings. But this is going to be taking a lot of good workout that this one might take a good perfection. Now it's going to be quite good to see the most best time that I just finally made it in onto the rank. 2738th place. Now this is definitely might be not bad. But it looks pretty good. But this one might take plenty more faster limits. We might be taking the good ways to be well performed to take that skill. But whenever it depends that each drive frame for a prototype race car to be go with the all wheel drive or the mid engine. But all wheel drive could probably give in the best suitable choice. We might be keep it fastening up to go on for the higher limits. We might be make it simple. It was a pretty good run for the Toyota TSO 50 Hybrid to take the fastest lap on Autopolis International Racing Course. But good thing I just finally made it folks. But this is going to be quite given the time remaining before this wheel might get two new time trials before tomorrow until now. Alright folks, glad that you really enjoyed this race. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to leave a like. Comment, bell for notification uploads, and the links on the description down below if you want to see more. Library vlog videos are available to watch anytime you want. This will be the entertainment showcase about different cars with libraries I have been made. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for continuing on the time trials on Gran Turismo Sports, and I'll see you guys later. Keep on racing, stay clean.